Okay, guys, so here is the reading of the chapter 9, section 2, reading about Brazil. I am going to skip this part and go to straight to building background. Um, building background. Carnival is a tradition that is not unique to Brazil, but has come to symbolize certain parts of Brazilian culture. Brazilian culture differs from cultures in the rest of South America in many ways. Brazil's unique history in the region is responsible for most of the cultural differences. History. Brazil is the largest country in South America. Its population of more than 188 million is larger than the population of all the other South American countries combined. Most Brazilians are descended from three groups of people who contributed in different ways throughout Brazil's history. The first people in Brazil were the American Indians. They arrived in the region many thousands of years ago and developed a way of life based on hunting, fishing, and small-scale farming. In 1500, Portuguese explorers became the first Europeans to find Brazil. Soon, Portuguese settlers began to move there. Good climates and soils, particularly in the northeast, made Brazil a large sugar-growing colony. Colonists brought a third group of people, Africans, to work as slaves on the plantations. Sugar plantations made Portugal rich, but they also eventually replaced forests along the Atlantic coast. Other parts of Brazil also contributed to the colonial economy. Inland, many Portuguese settlers created cattle ranches. In the late 1600s and early 1700s, people discovered gold and precious gems in the southeast. A mining boom drew people to Brazil from around the world. Finally, in the late 1800s, southeastern Brazil became a major coffee-producing region. Brazil since independence. Brazil gained independence from Portugal without a fight in 1822. However, independence did not change Brazil's economy much. For example, Brazil was the last country in the Americas to end slavery. Since the end of Portuguese rule, Brazil has been governed by elected officials. I'm sorry, Brazil has been governed at times by dictators and at other times elected officials. Today, the country has elected presidents and legislature. Brazilians can participate in political politics through voting. Reading check. Summarizing. What was Brazil's colonial economy like? People and culture. The people who came to Brazil over the years brought their own traditions. These traditions blended to create a unique Brazil culture. People. More than half of Brazilians consider themselves of European descent. Focus on reading. What context clues in this paragraph help you understand the meaning of descent? These people include descendants of original Portuguese settlers along with descendants of more recent immigrants from Spain, Germany, Italy, and Poland. Nearly 40% of Brazil's people are of mixed African and European descent. Brazil also has the largest Japanese population outside of Japan. Because of its colonial heritage, Brazil's official language is Portuguese. In fact, since Brazil's population is so huge, there are more Portuguese speakers in South America than there are Spanish speakers, even though Spanish is spoken in almost every other country on the continent. Other Brazilians speak Spanish, English, French, Japanese, or native languages. Focus on culture. Soccer in Brazil. To Brazilian, soccer is more than a game. It's part of being Brazilian. Professional stars are national heroes. The national team often plays in Rio de Janeiro, home of the world's largest soccer stadium. Some fans beat drums all through the game, but it is not just professional soccer that's popular. People all over Brazil play soccer, in the cleared fields, on the beach, or in the street. Here, boys in Rio practice their skills. Analyzing. Why do you think soccer is so popular in Brazil? Regions of Brazil. Brazil's regions differ from each other in their people, climate, economies, and landscapes. Annual, analyzing visuals. Which region appears to be the wealthiest? Religion. Brazil has the largest population of Roman Catholics of any other country in the world. About 75% of Brazilians are Catholic. In recent years, Protest Protestantism has grown in popularity particularly among the urban poor. Some Brazilians practice Macumba, a religion that combines beliefs and practices of African and Indian religions with Christianity. Festivals and food. 
Other aspects of Brazilian life also reflect the country's mixture of cultures. For example, Brazilians celebrate Carnival before the Christian season of Lent. The celebration mixes traditions from Africa, Brazil, and Europe. During Carnival, Brazilians dance the samba, which was adapted from an African dance. Immigrant influences can also be found in Brazilian foods. In parts of the country, an African seafood dish called vatapá is popular. Many Brazilians also enjoy eating fazueta, a stew of black beans and meat. Reading check. Analyzing. How has culture borrowed how has culture borrowing affected Brazilian culture? Brazil today. Brazil's largest large size creates opportunities and challenges for the country. For example, Brazil has the largest economy in South America and has modern and wealthy areas. However, many Brazilians are poor. While some of the same issues and characteristics can be found throughout Brazil, other characteristics are unique to a part, particular region of the country. We can divide Brazil into four regions based on the, their people, economies, and landscapes. The Southeast. Most people in Brazil live in the Southeast. Sao Paulo is located there. Almost 19 million people live in and around Sao Paulo. It is the largest urban area in South America and the fourth largest in the world. Sao Paulo is considered a mega city or a giant urban area that includes surrounding cities and suburbs. Rio de Janeiro, Brazil's second largest city, lies northeast of Sao Paulo. Almost 12 million people live there. The city was the capital of Brazil from 1822 until 1960. Today, Rio de Janeiro remains a major port city. It is, its spectacular setting and exciting cultures are popular with tourists. <clears throat> In, did I skip a page? Nope. In addition to having the largest cities, the southeast is also Brazil's richest region. It is rich in natural resources and has most of the country's industries and productive farmland. It is one of the major coffee-growing regions of the world. Although the southeast has a strong economy, it also has poverty. Cities in the region have huge slums called favelas. Many people who live in favelas have come to cities of the southeast from other regions of Brazil and search for jobs. The Northeast Immigrants to Brazil's largest cities often come from the Northeast, which is Brazil's poorest region. Many people there cannot read and health care is poor. The region often suffers from droughts, which make farming and raising livestock, livestock difficult. The Northeast ha also, <laughs> has also had difficulty attracting industry. However, the region's beautiful beaches do attract tourists. Other tourist attractions in northeastern eastern Brazil are the region's many old colonial cities. These cities were built during the days of the sugar industry. They have brightly painted buildings, cobblestone streets, and elaborate Catholic churches. The interior. The interior region of Brazil is, is a frontier land. Its abundant land and mild climate could someday make it an important area for agriculture. For now, few people live in this region, except for those who reside in the country's capital, Brasilia. In the mid-1950s, government officials hoped that building a new capital city in the Brazilian interior would help develop the region. Brasilia has modern buildings and busy highways. More than 2 million people live in Brasilia, although it was originally designed for only 500,000. The Amazon the Amazon region covers the northern part of Brazil. Manas, which lies 1,000 miles or 1,600 kilometers from the mouth of the Amazon, is a major port and industrial city. More than 1 million people live there. They rely on the river for transportation and communication. Isolated Indian villages are scattered throughout the region's dense rainforest. Some of Brazil's Indians have little contact with outsiders until recently. Now, logging, mining, and new roads are bringing more people and developing, development to this region. This new development provides needed income for some people, but it destroys large areas of the rainforest. It also creates tension among the Brazilian Indians, new settlers, miners, and the government. Reading check. Contrasting. How does the northeast of Brazil differ from the southeast? Summary and preview.
In this section, you read about Brazil, a huge country of many contrasts. Brazil reflects a mixture of people and cultures from its history. In the next section, you will learn about Brazil's neighbors, Argentina, Uruguay, and Paraguay.